In this video, we're learning how to use an Olympus microscope. Um, the first thing you're going to do is make sure it's plugged in. Next, you're going to make sure you're putting it on this laminated plastic paper. That allows you to rotate the microscope without damaging its feet or the, your desktop. Um, we're going to make sure we turn it on. So zero is stop, one is go. We're going to turn this between three and four, this light knob. And if you notice, we're trying to look for light through here. I see slight gold hue, but not much. Um, what we're going to do is we have two more settings to adjust. We're going to rotate this black ring to the left. And then we're going to rotate um, this black little lever, not the metal screw pin, but the black lever to the left. That's the iris diaphragm lever. That allows um, a certain amount of light to go in dep the, depending on how much you have it closed. Okay, so we can see some light coming through here. This is good. We're going to put our slide on. There's a metal pin. We're going to push this back. We're going to stick the slide up here in the back um, right corner. We're going to use these rotation axes knobs. The top one goes forward and back. The bottom one goes left and right. And we're going to rotate it to the front. And our goal is to illuminate our slide. And so you can't really see it here, but I can see a little black E being illuminated from the bottom. So there's two methods. There's the top up and the, um, to the top bottom and bottom top. And so the bottom to top is a method where you're using the coarse focus and fine focus. This does a lot of up and down movement. This does a f uh, very minor adjustment. This takes the blur out of something you have pretty close to being focused. So we're going to go ahead and try. And by the way, if you notice that, I needed to make sure I use this nose piece to rotate this, this, um, this objective, this four times red objective into place. Okay. Rotating up. Okay. And so I've noticed, I also have it on the screen here where we can see what we're doing. We're going to find focus. I'm doing this little baby knob here on the outside so I can see how good it's going to look. It looks nice and crisp and perfect. Then using this black nose ring, I'm going to go ahead and rotate to the yellow or the total of 100 times magnification. And even though this says 10 times on it, this ocular here adds another 10. So 10 times 10 makes 100. And I have it mostly, um, well, it's pretty blurred here, but I can still see a hint of the color. So I'm going to rotate. In this case, I'm rotating um, away from myself. That's bringing this item into view. And you may not always rotate away from yourself. Sometimes you have to rotate toward you. That's just how, um, depending on the size and the thickness of certain specimens. So now this is nice and crisp and beautiful. And if I wanted to go to blue, I'd rotate about halfway between. Um, sometimes you can rotate straight in, depending on how thick your slide is. I go down about a millimeter, rotate toward it. And again, since I'm on yellow and blue, I'm only going to find focus. And I'm going to find focus away from myself very gently. And you always want to make sure that your specimen... And there it is. And notice as we're getting closer, we're seeing less and less of our specimen. And that's because we're zooming in more and more. Okay, um, so a quick review. We use this was the bottom to top. We use red, yellow, then blue. You always want to start that way. If you don't, um, by the way, we never use this one right here. Uh, you don't even rotate it through the um, field of view. You're just going to go ahead and rotate back down through yellow, back down to red. And let's do the top bottom. So the top bottom method is you literally rotate all the way to the top. And this way you're going to be panning down so there's no way you can miss this. Uh, don't be going all crazy. In this case, go kind of slow. And all you need to do is find focus it just a bit. And look, it comes right into view. Then you continue with your yellow, your blue um, magnification.